Yeah. That's it. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, I'm ready. Look at the angle, you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Okay. Eugene, I did, I did give you permission to uh, put me on the air or, or write a story about my life story, my Mr. Figaro, I known a long time Mr. Figaro because I was the singing barber, mm -hmm. the barber of Seville. And uh, going on for many years, I thought uh, it's nice that you want to write up, make a history, and uh, go ahead and do what you have to do, and I give you permission to do that. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to start off. Uh, where Did I say Eugene? Eugene, yeah, yes. That's fine. Your name is Eugene. So would... My name is Jerry May. Exactly. They call me Figaro, too. Nickname. Right. We all have nickname in this business, show business. There is no business like show business that I know, and so go on. All right, so we're just gonna start, okay? Um, the first question is, uh, where and when were you born? Where I was born is uh, is in the Middle East. It's in uh, faraway places also, from Tashkent, Russia, USSR, and also Bukhara. Which I was born there. My mother was born there, but we came to Tashkent via Tashkent. Uh, we came to Iran. I was young then, and I came with my mother. It was a program, programs very bad there. You know, they didn't like the Jews, and they, they didn't do uh, good. So we had to come via run away from the Russian regime. That uh, that was time. They were after. Uh, after the people who uh, they didn't like or whatever, I don't know the story, but I was young and my mother took me and ran away. And we came to Iran. We managed to make, come to the Iran. It's amazing, at that those days there was no aeroplanes. We gave the gold to the people who uh, sneak you out, take you out away from one country to another, from the mountains, from the, it's about 300 miles from one place to another place. And we did it with camel and donkeys, not buses, not, later on came buses. I lived three years in uh, Iran, and my mother worked there for the British consulate, and we were very happy there, and we knew a few people, and we held on there three years, and then from there we went Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and we came to Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv was my Jewish nationality, as you know, uh, 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 Eugene, Eugene, your first name? Eugene. Eugene. And uh, of course, uh, and we came traveling, uh, we came to Israel, I was in the military, in the armies, and so on. I grew up there, and then I came to uh, for, to United States via. Uh, I went to Paris. I went to uh, London, England. I stayed there ten years, and ten, and then I already I was the singing barber. I opened up my barber shop. The singing barber and everybody liked me those days. And uh, after 10 years I was there, we were successful, and I left to Canada, Toronto. There I was there about, I would say, another 10 years in Toronto. And I had my families there. Some families came also from the same town, the same cities. We met each other there, and, and I was very happy working there as the singing barber. Then after 10 years I was there, I don't, I don't want to make a big story, make a short, because my life has been very, very complicated sometimes, and it's too much, you know, I'm, it's amazing, Eugene, when you came to me, you was young, and now I'm older, and <laughs> you want all my life story to give you, it's impossible, one, two, three. But I will do this, this as quick as I can, and we are going now from Toronto to New York. <coughs> I came to New York, I started in this store. This is uh, 1919 Avenue Z. 
Ocean Avenue, Sheepshead Bay, which is very, very famous area. And there is all kind of nationalities here. And I was really mingled with all these people, with all this nationality, with all this religion. I was very good. And they loved me. As you remember, Eugene, you was young yourself. You used to go to public school. And here, you come here, you become my customer because you like me. Exactly. I sing for you. I, I, I gave you my songs. You should write them for me. And we grew up sometimes here. And I was very happy with you. And I lost you for some time. Then you went for college. I don't know. You went to various places. Eugene, and uh, I was very, very happy here working and singing and entertaining the people and understand people they they, they we, we, we like the community here is so beautiful it's called Shipset Bay well known place a lot of people grew up here and uh, from Brighton Beach they came and we came up here and uh, there was wonderful to have a uh, the, the good haircut that the, the people like. I used to do that because I had experience from Europe. And then I did a lot of styling also, and everybody liked that too. And uh, I did ladies' haircut and men's haircut. And I worked uh, for a few years, I've been here 30 years now, this place. In 30 years, I achieved good name. I have a son also. He's uh, 30 years old. He's an officer. and. Uh, he, took, I, he wants to place, after I got a little stroke, the, the fluorescent, the ceiling fall down. It was damaged with water here, you know, it was, uh, I, I, I could not, the landlord would not do any repair. And I got stroke with one eye. And then, of course, after that, I gave the store, as you see, it's modern now. And my son, I gave it uh, my asset to him and he was happy to, continue and keep my name Mr. Figaro the singing barber. Okay. Um, now I, you mentioned you mentioned it was uh, 30 years you had the uh, you had the uh, old place. old place yeah. This is the same area of course but um you had the old shop for 30 years here. This here 30 years exists as a barber shop. Unisex you can say because in those days it was unisex too. Right. And it's, it's called unisex. I used to do men and women, and I used to cut hair, and I used to sing. I used to play pianos, if you remember. I used to have pictures of all movie stars from Hollywood, from you just name it, from all over. So when you were, you mentioned uh, you were a child uh, uh, all around the Middle East. You were, you were, you, were, you traveled from, uh, you said Iraq, Iran, uh, yeah, right. Uh, um, so did you ever have a dream job? A or a job, or a certain a certain thing you wanted to be good at as a child. This was my life. This barbershop. I, I was uh, from my father. I learned this trade, and I I grew up with him. And we had this going. After his death, I keep on myself keep on this uh, business and the people here would like me and I stayed here and I make very well here. I have a son now, he's 30 years old as I told you and now that I got a stroke I told you, I got sick, I didn't work, I couldn't. And I gave it to him, he, he runs it now, the, Mr. Figaro. He, he put a sign, he, he fixed the store, he made it modernized, he did something up to date which uh, for me was already, I feel like I'm old and I should retire. I understand. Um, okay, so you, you said uh, you, you were cutting hair from Paris and Canada, and then you got, got to New York. So the first job you had officially was in Paris, correct? The first job I had, it, it was in uh, Israel. In Israel. In Israel, you know, I liked uh, Israel. I, I, I was in the army there too. And uh, of course, as a Jew, I do my duty and I used to work barbershop because my father was had a barbershop there. And I took his trade. And therefore, I, I become, I did, he didn't know that I had such a good voice. And I, I call myself uh, Italian people. I used to have customers and I used to have, uh, 
beautiful areas of uh, Italian music. I used to have Elvis Presley songs. I used to have a lot, lot of movie stars that they made record and they hit. You know, I, I know Eddie Fisher, Elizabeth Taylor. I, I grew up with them. I, I, in Hollywood, I, I, I was really, I should have fit in there. But you know what? I said, I don't want to go too far away. I came to Avenue Z, Ocean Avenue. I see. Ships at Bay, Brooklyn, New York. So, now, you, you, you had this long business of, of cutting hair and, and singing while you cut hair. Right? Yes, I do sing <laughs> if they want. You if see? they want, I if, if they uh, request, I give. Uh, they come with a request. I do sing for them, and we harmonize. We very people love music. People love a, a character like me, uh, and I used to make good business. So, uh, I used to play piano. Of course, I play the drums. I play the accordion. I play. Uh, I was instrumental. I was I was somebody those days. Well, um, uh, what 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 would you choose if you had to choose? If you had to choose, would you choose being a barber, cutting hair without singing, or would you sing without cutting hair? If you had to you choose, you know, you Eugene, you must understand. If I grew up with a father barber, and I took his trade, and I was good with that. Of course, I, whenever I went, I made money. I didn't have no money. Those days, money was scared. I used to make money and help my parents. Today, children, they don't care. They care for themselves. But I had the knowledge of hair cutting. And also, I loved, I create my talent with music. And it's worked together. It was beautiful. It was very lovely. It was, it was interesting. Everybody liked it. You want to? I give you a sample. You want me to sing uh, one song if you um, want? Um, yeah. Yeah, That'd is it great. time for you to listen for my songs? Absolutely. One is Pavarotti, is my favorite. Italian people, very nice people. And I, I look like Italian, and I, 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 I was very. Uh, they used to love me also. We got along very well. Uh, here is a song like. is. It, it, Osso la mio. Video mare quanto bello, spina tanto sentimento, come tu ti tiene mente, cassetta tu io su una mano bella sa, non dar me stu tormento, torna soriento, farme campa. That was the Italian song from opera. And then I used to sing also Al Jolson, a jazz singer. This is a song, uh, April Shower. This is April month. I give you April Shower. He used to sing beautiful Al Jolson, well known, made movies for 40, 50 years. And I adapted the style and copy and imitate him. You made me love you, I didn't want the world. I want some love, that's true. Yes, I do, did I do, you know I do. Give me, give me what I cry for. You know you got a kind kisses that I die for. You know you made me love ya. Don't forget, he was singing 40, 50 years ago. And I'm 83. I'm still alive and I'm singing those songs in the same voice. And those days I was, of course, younger, better. But this is my voice today. It's amazing. And then I told you April Shower. We forgot about that. I didn't forget. You, uh, no April Showers, they come your way. They bring that flowers of bloom in May. So if it's raining, have no regrets because it isn't raining rain you know it's raining violet and when you see clouds upon the hill you soon see clouds of devil so keep on 
looking for a bluebird and listening for his song whenever April showers come along. That was all your songs. Rock a by your baby with a singing melody. When you croon, you croon a tune from the heart of Dixie. And down all my cradle, maybe mine, right on that Mason Dixie line, and swing it from Virginia to Tennessee with all the soul that's in ya. Weep no more, my lady. Sing that song again for me. Sing the old black Joe, just as though you had me on your knee. A million baby kisses I'll deliver if you will only sing that Swanee River rockaby. Your rockaby baby with a Dixie melody. Jerry Lewis used to sing that too, and he became a star. You know, there's a lot of songs I give you, you go crazy. Uh, you like to hear uh, Eddie Fisher sing, uh, I'm walking, Elizabeth Taylor, she just died, you know, a few days yeah, ago. He married her, he got divorced. He used to sing beautiful song. I'm walking behind you on your wedding days. I hear your promise to love and obey. When things go wrong, dear, you're still on my mind. Look over your shoulder, I'm walking behind. Maybe I'll hear again whether you with you. But we shall wish again I was kissing you. Cause I always loved you wherever you roam. We could have been happy like Derby and John. When things go wrong, dear, <coughs> you're still on my mind. Look over your shoulder, I'm walking behind. That was artificial. Uh, then uh, there is very, various songs, international, uh, very beautiful. You know, the, the, just the public, they couldn't get over me because the singing barber, you should have been a singer in Hollywood. <laughs> what are you doing in a barber shop? She said, me. But that's what I did. That's what I love to do, and I was successful. I made good, and people loved me, and I was good for the community. The community well known. I was on eight channels, channel two, four, seven, eight, you name them. They came here like you do, and that's what they write up about me. They, 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 they build up my life story, and I was very successful by doing everything, and many, many stations and channels. Uh, TV channels and, and, and cables and, and uh, they were very radios. In, they were very interested in how much uh, how much you could sing and how, how well you could sing, while how well you can give haircuts as well. Um, what I what I what I want to ask is um, if you have a f you you obviously know a lot of types of music, opera, you know, jazz. You're right. You saw that. I yeah. Really so, a little bit that. so what's uh, what's your favorite type of music? My favorite. <laughs> Anybody is good. I, I was my favorite because I loved a lot of entertainers, the old days, you name them, I know them. I had, you know, let, 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 you will never dream I can sing Mona Lisa by Nothing Cole. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like the lady with a mystic smile. Is it only that you're lonely you have blamed you? With that Mona Lisa strangeness in your smile, do you smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there and they die there. Are you real? Are you warm, Mona Lisa? Oh, just a cold and lonely, lonely, lovely work of art, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Not can go. You see, I sing anything, anything, all, uh, all kind of nationality musics and. Uh, 
which is popular. I, I always used to sing, I always entertain people. And that's why they, they used to invite me for their weddings, for parties, they used to pay me money and I used to do it with the orchestra, band, and, and I was very jolly, a happy man. Where can you find somebody happy man today? Especially cutting hair too. <laughs> it's very rare. Uh, very rare. Um, now I, I want to ask, uh, you've been here 30 years with this barbershop and, uh, and you, you, you obviously went through a lot. I mean, 30 years is a long time. Now um, I just want to ask, do you have any memories of, you know, just, just little tidbits of just shining moments that just shine in your mind? You have best moments of your of your 30 years here in Brooklyn well you know don't forget I also married three times there was shiny days and I have three children one of each woman and I was again I was happy nature and whatever I did it was like artistic style, artistic way of doing it. And that's why people love me. And I, I was happy, very happy to cut hair and make money, which people give me good tips. Not only the, the, the price of what you ask for, because I do, I do entertain and make them happy. They used to give me nice tips. I was very lovable. This was my life. This was my... I was nice with the woman, I was nice with the guys, I was nice with the men. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how far can I go. Um, what about, um, how about anything like, um, you said you started out just cutting hair, right? And uh, you, just elaborate on that, you had, you, had, um, you had a cup, you said you started off in Israel cutting hair. Yeah. Um, so, so. When did you decide, like, what was the moment for you when you said, okay, so let me try singing while I'm cutting hair, or did it, or did it just happen naturally? Well, uh, you know, uh, of course, when I was in Israel, I was singing Hebrew songs. I was, I was, my father was a cantor, and I was singing his songs, cantorial. I did all kind of things, you know, if you remind me, this is Al Jolson, his father, he come from Russia, he also, follow his father, a cantor, but then he became a jazz singer. He went to Hollywood and he became a jazz singer and he became famous. He was well known all over the world. Of course, I followed him. I studied those songs. I memorized them. I was very, very uh, enjoyable. I play harmonica, you know, I play piano, I play drums, I play accordion. This was on the side, everything I did, because I loved that. It was, it was a joyful, where can you find today people, they, they should be joyful for everywhere you turn to. Now people, they, all they think, one thing, money. <laughs> They're miserable. <laughs> but I was different. I was happy, I was nature. I was wonderful with people, I loved people. I did my best, and thank God, um, do I look 80, 83? Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody says. And you know, I miss it. Sometime I want to come and carry on and do more. But enough is enough. You know, I really need a rest. I need to take it easy. A lot of people go, my friends are in Florida now. A lot of people go to Arizona now. They go all kinds of places, they have a good time, you know. I hang out in casinos a little bit. Why not? Listen, that's life. That's the best life American people love. The good thing. Okay. And um, I'm happy, uh, you, you, Eugene, that you're here and you really bring me over and you write up for me and you want to do my life story. You wonderful boy you was when he was young, and now you're beautiful. Thank you. Um, so I had a, I had a I had a follow up question to that. Um, when I came to you before, um, when I was small, I was a child, um, a couple like five or six years ago. Um, you mentioned that you had 
you sang outside of your haircutting job as well. You went to restaurants, I think. You sang yes, I did. I did, did, did just small jobs all over. People used to invite me for their parties, weddings, of course. You talk to people, they say, listen, I need you for this place. I need you for Bar Mitzvah. I need you for, for uh, somewhere to uh, entertain us. So you'll be my entertainment. And I did a lot of entertainment, Yuji. Mm -hmm. And I love to do that. Yeah, I was very, uh, I went to, I don't know if you know, uh, you know Hollywood, San Francisco, I, f I was there for five years. I went to Florida for for weekend and I stayed there another five years. I loved it there. There was a lot of hotels, a lot of beautiful people, a lot of my customers, I used to see them. And then I, 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 I was very popular, what can I tell you? There are many, many places, you name it, it's there. Okay, and um, follow-up question to that. Um, was I there wish, I wish uh, you give me the copy of what I just said, all this for you. I will. Uh, I'll be very, this will be my good present, and you know, I'm not in Hollywood, you're not my uh, manager, we do it without money. <laughs> Of course. All that. Of course. Um, now here, so, so you had a very long career, a very long, very fruitful career. Um, and I had a question, was there anything you would have done differently? If you had the chance to go back anywhere in your career, would you have done anything differently? Give whom? Give them whom? The people that I entertain already, they know me well. They see me, they go crazy. Where are you? We miss you. We want you. That's how it goes all over the same place. People see me, they never forget me. More than 30 years. That's amazing, I'm telling you. It's, you know, Perry Como was a barber, but he was a barber. He was a singer too, Perry Como, Italian boy. Now, he had no voice like me. You know, I had powerful voice, I had Pavarotti voice, operatic. And I didn't like too much opera. I liked the light stuff, not the heavy stuff. Because it gets bored too much of everything. And that's what I liked, and that's what I do. I do, I do the light stuff. And I'm doing light stuff with you too right now. Do you, uh, you want to try a heavy song? Heavy song? Do you know any? Well, a heavy song, remember, Pavarotti used to sing, and Elvis made a record out of it. It's now or never, come hold me tight, kiss me my darling, be mine tonight, tomorrow will be too late, it's now or never, my love one way. Manato sole, malacura vento, via la serienta, pana tempasta, pelaria fresca, paragana festa, che bella cosa na urna te sole. Manato sole, chi bella oine. O sol mio, sta in fronte a te, o sol, o sol mio, sta in fronte a te, sta in fronte a te. This is heavy stuff. <laughs> See? Whatever you want. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Um, no, really good. And don't forget, this is a different age, 83. That would have been something. Uh, yeah, All yeah. right, so I have, a, I have another question. You gave me a good time today, uh, Eugene. You gave us a good time. God bless you. You're a nice guy. I remember when you was young, you was beautiful, and now you're more beautiful. Your parents, I hope, appreciate you too. Yeah, they do. Um, so, if you were to pick one person you ever met in your life, fam if you would have met any, any person in your life, throughout your career, throughout your entire life, uh, who would you pick to be 
your hero. In fact, you don't even have to meet them. But who is your hero? Who would be your hero? My hero is, as I love singing, Pavarotti, Al Jolson. This is my heroes. They were good. They no like them no more. They don't make them no more. He was a jazz singer. <coughs> he was singing every every songs, Old Man River, beautiful songs of, of of all over the world. He entertained all over the world. He was in England, in, in Australia, New Zealand. He was famous all over, you can't believe it. And he was a cantor too, Jewish boy. A cantor. But he didn't want to be a cantor, he became a jazz singer. And I like jazz singing. See. Okay, um, did you have... Um, now recently, right? We're talking in the past year or so. Um, just describe to me as best as you can, um, what what were the events that took place? Because I remember going here, and I, I remember how it was before. Um, just describe to me how it was before when you had the old shop, and 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 how that progressed. I, I don't get you because it's the best. I gave you the best that I had. It's not enough best. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I, I'm not the artistic. Uh, a person no, no. who makes a million like Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Robert Goulet, or, or, or uh, Perry Como. You're misunderstanding. I mean, just just try to describe um, how how uh, in the past year what ha what happened to the place. Oh, this uh, you mean sad place? Yeah. This is a sad place happened to me. <laughs> I become 83, and I told the landlord many years, please fix the roof. The roof is leaking water from apartment. And the old building like this, he never fixed it. And I and, and the ceiling fall down as you see. The, 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 if you take the picture here, you see how beautiful store my son built. Unbelievable! He, he designed it. He made it so his own idea, uh, uh, and and that was really something that the landlord, you know, didn't want to hear it. You know, usually landlord, you tell him to fix something. They, his own building they don't want to fix. Never mind. So that was sad that I had to quit. Have one eye I lost. I went with my son to a lot of doctors in, in all over Manhattan, here, Brooklyn, just name it. And I could not get it right. I was very sorry. I was hoping my future will be when I get old and I will do better. But it didn't work that, that the eye he just went off one eye. The other eye works good. That's it. That was very sad that I needed the most and I didn't uh, enjoy it at the end. But I did enjoy all the years that I went through. The memories must have been nice. What I explained to you, what, uh, what we recorded, what we do, the pictures here. Uh, you have a photographer, very intelligent person, he listens and he make a good job now, right now. And uh, I repeat and repeat. How much can I repeat? Uh, so, um, just to... I forgot his name, you see? Gar Gary or you, me? Eugene. 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 I forgot, you see, Eugene, you asked me a question, I forgot your name, huh? It's fine. Eugene. Um, okay, so, so I have uh, another question. Um, so, do you still do you still do jobs? I know you said you can't cut hair. No, I don't. But do you do you sing you or see, anything? Huh? Do you still do the singing thing? I taking care of my wife now. She is old also, and she was a lovable person. Came from Kiev, from Russia, you know. And uh, she came to America about 35 years ago. And uh, she's very sick now, nursing home. I take care of her. Uh, you, when you love somebody, you gotta do it till the end. I understand. And um, <clears throat> so I have a pretty much an overall question here. Um, what would be, if you had to pick one Thing you've learned from your entire career. Uh, what's the most important? What? 
the most important thing that you've learned from your career? Everything was important, Jay. Uh, 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 I forgot your name. Uh, Eugene. 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 Everything is important. I, what I talked to you so long, this is all important. What more important you want? But you must have... Sex, I have wonderful life. Uh, marriages, I have beautiful life. A son, he fixed the store, he continued and he put lights all over like a Hollywood, like Broadway. He, he makes this place, if you take a picture, show the, the, the people what a beautiful store this is. And you see, that was beautiful what uh, we all did. We had beautiful things, still continue. Until you die, you're gonna make beautiful things. What are you gonna do? Be miserable is better. Eugene, more? Um, anything else you'd like to say? Anything you'd like to say, I'm proud of you that you got older, you're still not old like me, out the cacker. <laughs> you, you young boy, <laughs> you nice personality yourself. You also come the same country where I was born, you come from Russia too. Your parents were Russians too. And uh, it's a wonderful to get together and to bring memories of past. I see. Okay. Thank well, you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank Jay you. Jason. Uh, very, very nice God, to uh, talk God to you. you. I all hope right. you're going to give me a copy of all this. I hope so. I will. I will. No, 100%. I will give you a copy of it. After it's done, it's edited and stuff. All right. So um, we're just going to take a couple of things.